get out of the restaurant, but it's not like all that. But you on the way to take cash to get his bi weekly shots, right? The skin, it used to be a hundred times worse. Yes, you made popcorn and you yes. put sprinkles in it. What in the world? Yes. Fire Squad, a day in the life, and my beautiful princess, Aaliyah, <laughs> of course, is cooking. Aaliyah. You might say, What's she cooking? Well, let's see. What are you making, baby? I made fried banana, but cornflakes as the bread instead of, you know, regular bread crumbs. Mm -hmm. This is the other one. How did you come up with this idea? I just did it from, you, from scratch. I didn't even search it or anything. You didn't even look up the recipe? No, I, I just like to make stuff. I think you're very creative, actually. So, what do you have here? What is this? This one is going to be mozzarella sticks. What is this? It's breading. Oh, what There's is in bread it? crumbs in it, too. What's in it? Can you tell me your secret? No. <laughs> oh, she messed up. Here's a cornflake, and here's some that she already made. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how it tastes. If it's not good, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it's crispy. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's something you'll get out of a restaurant, but it's not like all that, but you'll get it out of a restaurant. I'm shocked. I'm not trying to say I don't believe in your cooking, but. No, it's it's perfect. Your mom's gonna love it. Babe, you gotta try this. Aaliyah made it. It's so delicious. It is a fried banana with cornflakes. Try it, babe. Trust me. Oh. Ain't it good? Aaliyah is talented. I know. Shoot. Aaliyah, oh, your mom said it was delicious. Really? You're talented, babe. I'm you really are, girl. I'm gonna eat one more. Now, you know if I take two bites? Yeah, if he takes two bites, it's good. Because I don't have that much room for my gastric sleeve, so if I'm taking a couple bites, it's legit. 5 a.m. Why are you not asleep, sweetie? You woke up bad hair day and all, just like daddy. Whatever, huh? Well, I'm happy to see you beautiful this morning. But at the same time, Daddy gets his alone time. Usually in the morning I get to relax, but uh, when she's up, no. Nah. So are you all. Just recently, yes, baby. We, we just got this from a Walmart haul. This is a brand new breakfast sandwich. The chicken sandwich, as you can see. I love a breakfast chicken sandwich because just like Chick-fil-A, Breakfast chicken sandwiches are amazing. I'm not saying this is going to taste like Chick-fil-A. But the cool thing about it is you put the chicken in the air fryer first for six minutes. And then you put in the biscuit for a minute. Mine's is coming out just about done. It came out. Y'all, yeah, it doesn't really look like the picture. But hey, <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, hey, Faith. You want to try the chicken sandwich? I'm going to try it. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> it's not Chick Fil A, but you gotta love chicken breakfast sandwiches to like it. I give it. It's decent. Wake her up, Faith. Wake her up for school. <laughs> She's attacking Aaliyah, trying to wake her butt up. I know. What are you doing, Kat? Yes, you made popcorn and you put sprinkles in it? What in the world? And you put sugar in it? What are you doing? He put Splenda in it, y'all. Have y'all ever did that? She is yelling popcorn. Give her a piece, give her some. You're not gonna eat all that. What's up, Aaliyah? I did my homework. You did your homework? No, I didn't. You didn't finish it. The mini, hear it? Yeah, y'all. Oh, Would y'all like to hear Aaliyah's homework assignment? She had to be a lawyer. I have to write a speech and there's more. Uh -huh. This is the only thing I got for an hour. It says, Your Honor, why did he need the money home to ever take care of him or his financial needs? In conclusion, we don't know his side of the story. Roger is still a young kid and most kids don't know better, especially since he was taught wrong. So that's that's what you wrote so far? And you're you're doing great. No, it's okay. Any effort is good effort. You know what I mean? 
This story is about a young kid who didn't have anything for his living, right? Like he was, he was yeah, poor. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank comment you, down ma below. You heard a thank you, ma'am story. But basically, this lady ended up helping him, and he initially was trying to rob her, right? Yeah, for money. It's so she's a lawyer. Girl, give me a check. Cause lawyers make good money. Give me some. Can I have some money? My Whoa! Hair. My pocket money. She, she is it. a lawyer. She get it from her mama. What? Five dollars? <laughs> uh, no, the lawyerism. <laughs> oh, yes, lawyer. I studied pre-law, yes. Mm. Yeah, she did. Money is cooking dinner. What you, she's making tacos? It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Deshaun been upstairs playing the game. He finally doing something. We were like, hey, make a bottle. He's like, hey, hey, you want to know what I've been doing? What? Getting Division 11. I don't know what that is. Is that Fortnite, bro? Is that Fortnite? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got homework on the computer, I know. You got homework and you've been playing Fortnite? Exactly. Deshaun. Bye. What is the matter with this boy? Bye. Aaliyah's been doing her homework Bye. all day. Every day. Yep. Thank you. Can I finish it when I get home? Me too. You too? I, whenever I have to. Shut up, shut up. You better never be saying. Yes, you saying. Sean's a lot. No, I don't say that. <laughs> and mama making Spanish rice. Ooh. We found a way to take cash to get his bi weekly shots, right? Yes, and for his skin. Yeah, it's to, to keep up with his skin because he has really bad irritation. And these shots have changed his life. It has healed his skin dramatically. Tremendous. Yes, like amazing. Cash is going to be strong. He does not like getting the shots. But y'all comment down below, say cash, you'll be okay, you'll do good. And it's not just a regular shot, it's an actual injection. So the needle is thicker than normal shots, but cash has been doing amazing every two weeks. We have a reward for him depending on how he does. Uh, I'll try to record a little bit of it and see if we can cheer him on. Let's yes. go. Come on, cash, you got this, bro. I believe in you, man. Thank you. Go, go. Make it to the elevator. All right, Cash, the fourth floor. Almost there. One more. I like your shirt, by the way. The SpongeBob is legit. I love it, bro. Do you know where the office is? Let's go. Right there. We're in here now. These are the skin. It used to be a hundred times worse. It'll dry up really bad. So ever since he had his shots, he doesn't bleed from scratching all night anymore. And you're gonna be tough for your shots, right? Your shot, not only one. You did good, Cash. You got shots again in two weeks. And you did good. Let me see your band aid. You got your band aid. We're good now. We just had lunch, as you can see. Yes. We, we didn't finish our food. We, I want tacos. We one, had tachis. Chinese food from the. It, it has become one of our favorite lunch places to go. East. Asian oh, food. So good. I mean, you see me yawn, right? That's because it was that good. I got General So Chicken. That's T-S-O. Any any fans out there of General So? I usually go and get chicken broccoli, but this time I got chicken and green string beans. And you know what, y'all? I'm confused. Okay, let me tell you why. When I think of Asian food, I think of something sweet and spicy or spicy. Mm-hmm. She likes comfort food from an Asian spot. I like it's not chicken. sweet or spicy. She just wants that basic. Maybe somebody watching right now, one of you, get the chicken and broccoli or chicken and string beans. But I don't see. I mean, you go to Asian food, I think, to get something unique. And, you know? It's just, I like the sauces. And the chicken that I get with chicken and broccoli or chicken and string beans, it's not fried. So it's essentially very good for you. That's now, true. when you bite into the fried rice, that's a different story. <laughs> right. But at least the bigger portion of my meal is healthier choice. So that's why you do it. I just, I, I don't know. Or I, you just I do like it for it. that and I just like it. And Cash got sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. And tell me why, y'all. All right, sweet and sour has pineapple, right? Sweet and sour chicken. She took a bite. And she's allergic to pineapple. I did. And what I is wrong even, with her? Listen, we barely get sweet and sour chicken. So when Cash got it, I was like, oh, I want to try a little piece. So I got like a little piece of the chicken. Adrian's like, spit it out. And I'm like. You see her cough, right? Um, how you going to say spit it out? He was like, pineapples. And I was like, oh my gosh. 
and you just had your allergy shots, which inflames your reactions, yes. which is your throat usually. And oh. On top of that, that is just crazy. I had my shots, and out of all days, they told me that today was like a very high, high dose. And she said, watch yourself today. Be very careful and mindful because your throat might start swelling up again. I have been having that issue, y'all. Uh, we don't really talk about it, right? We don't really talk about it. Dude, there is a video coming soon uh, that's going to talk about a situation where, uh, yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty scary for, for her mom here. And they go through this every single week. Wow. Every single Wednesday, I allergies. go through this. Allergies are a mess. Yeah, so here I am trying to get the help with the immunotherapy, but essentially, I always get delayed reactions. What happened to you recently was very scary. I mean, I was like, what are we gonna do? I wanted to call 911 and guess what? She didn't. No, I didn't. So next time I feel like I should, as a husband, protect you and be like, even though you don't want me to call 911, I'm worried. I, even though we pray, but I know if you're going through that, you, you should be seen by a doctor, period. Well, and I do have an EpiPen as well. They said only use the EpiPen in extreme cases. Like, yeah, my throat swells up. It's nothing to like brush off. But I didn't stop breathing. Y'all, hold on, there. hold on. Let me repeat what she said. My throat swells up, mm -hmm. but I didn't stop breathing. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> if I have to get gas for air like a fish out of water, I'm not, that's not normal, okay? Somebody, someone, can I get a witness out there? Can someone comment to K Money? Girl, it's not normal. When you're going through a swelling of your throat, Go to the hospital. Period. I get anaphylactic, anaphylactic, or I think that's how yeah, you say it. Yeah, anaphylactic shock. Every week, mm -hmm. for the most part, right? We're parked, by the way. That's yeah, we're parked. He got out. For the Same most night. part, Hi. it's every single week. Mm -hmm. To be real, I do I already much. kind of feel my throat swelling up right now, but it's not bad. It it starts off like this. It, I start. It's swollen right now. I start off with that. And then as the hours go on, it kicks up some notches. It's unfortunate, it's sad, but you know, I don't know. But God is good. We're gonna continue to pray. Yes. Because <laughs> he's a natural healer. He is. They say, say Jehovah Rapha. Yes. Yeah, God the healer. So, you know what? Y'all keep us in your prayers. Keep paying money in your prayers. Because, yeah. hey, things can change for the better. Yeah, at yes. any moment as long as you claim it and be positive we have to stay positive because if you love yourself and on top of that loving yourself you're positive how can you not win how exactly. can you not win and with faith faith positivity love i mean how can you not win at anything in life how can you not defeat any problems you have in your life exactly so you know at this point i'm kind i'm just getting used to it y'all i know that sounds crazy but there are some things that are super effective like i love 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 lemon water mm -hmm. so i have to be careful like with my acidity intake because when i have the shock and my throat swells up yeah. it gets super raw because i cough 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 <laughs> And that's why I kind of sound like this today. And then with spice, like I pretty much can't eat no spice because that will burn my throat even more. Cash, lean over, say hi. You did really good with your shots today, Cash, and I'm very proud of you. Good job. Aww. Yes, okay, so about Aaliyah, she had her assignment. She was supposed to be, what, an attorney? Y'all right. seen that assignment? Oh, she drove us mad. She drove us crazy. Like, Aaliyah likes to over, <coughs> overthink mm -hmm. things. And I think it's good that she truly cares about her homework and everything, but it kept her, like, literally her whole evening was consumed by this. Yeah. Literally, her whole evening, because she kept overthinking it. She really got herself to go to bed. Yeah, she didn't want to go to sleep without finishing that assignment. She was upset with herself because she couldn't finish her last paragraph. So she went to bed, and she woke up extra early. The first thing she did, she woke me up and was like, I didn't finish my homework. I'm like, 
I love the dedication. I love it. Yeah. And they say if your child comes to you, correct me if I'm wrong, but if your child comes to you about something they're passionate about, especially homework and school, you should stop what you're doing and help them. Yeah. And I and I did you the best. Helped I, her I did the lot. best I could. Yeah. I literally helped her do her writing. I said, I'm not going to do your homework for you, but I am going to help you do bulletin points. Uh huh. And off of these bulletin points, all you got to do is explain it. I, I literally made it that simple, but she still got stuck. And I was she just, got I got a little stuck. frustrated to be real. I was like, dang, girl, like I'm trying to help you. This is all I can do. I'm, I don't want to do your homework. I'm not going to do it. She wants to be a perfectionist, which nobody's perfect, but I mean, I do admire her drive. And I'm glad it's a good problem we're having. She's interested and she cares so much about her homework now. Yeah. At least she's not not doing her homework yes. or being like, forget it. I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So she woke me up. She's like, I didn't finish my homework, but I'm all dressed. She was completely already all ready by like 6 a.m. Yeah. So I said, why don't you go ahead and go downstairs, go to the desk and finish your homework. Like your mind's rested, fresh. She went down there. She was back up within like a half hour. And she was like, I finished my homework. See? By like 6.30 in the morning. And any advice out there for our daughter, Aaliyah, in this situation? She's 12, by the way, if you didn't know. You're new here. Uh, any advice with homework and us helping her and how she's not... She's getting it, but she's getting frustrated, you know? Only thing I said was stop and come back later to it. That's the only thing I said. But any other advice? We're, we're tough. Give it to us, please. Yeah, she's in seventh grade, so... It's getting a little bit harder, too, for us to help her with her homework. Right. It's like that show, is you smarter than a fifth grader? No. And I'm like, nobody's <laughs> smarter than a fifth grader. But when you hear them school questions. I'm still a fifth grader. I'm like, child. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Boy, bye. <laughs> My phone ain't feeling it right now. <laughs> y'all, you all stay blessed. Go ahead and click the screen for our family vlog playlist. Stay blessed. And highly favored. Peace. 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 Peace.